Welcome to another edition of Hallmark RV TV. Today we're going to talk a little bit about our composite technology. Why does a Hallmark cost more than, say, the other brands? Um, an aluminum skin brand, a Phylon, or a Lamlux skin brand. Um, that's because of the technology that we're imparting in our Hallmark product. One of the first things you'll notice is uh, it's not just a flat piece of fiberglass. Here's a cutaway of one of our walls. And you can see um, the vent holes for refrigerator already put in the wall. Um, you can see me beating this with a, a weighted mallet. Um, most other skins, most other campers aren't going to put up with that. Uh, it doesn't even affect the Hallmark composite wall. Um, and I'll take you through some of the processes of the building so you can see why. Just to give you one more example of uh, an extreme uh, impact, maybe a, a giant hailstone or a, a large branch. Um, here's a regular old hammer, um, an extreme impact. Did make a mark on the wall, um, but you're going to see uh, that I'll be able to wipe the mark off. Um, it hasn't ruptured the gel coat, it hasn't uh, broken the fiberglass. Um, I'm simply able to wipe off the mark and uh, away you'd go. Um, if it was a big enough impact, um, you could take the camper to a body shop and the body shop could fix the camper, one of the, the benefits to a Hallmark product. Um, here are some of the other products used uh, throughout the industry, uh, FRP, um, which we've used in the past, uh, aluminum skin, which we've also used in the past, Phylon or Lamlux, which we'll use on occasion. It's a, don't get me wrong, it's a good product, but uh, we've just used the best product possible. Um, hand, uh, it's, it's marine grade gel coat, hand laid directional fiberglass, a balsa wood core encased in more fiberglass. Um, this is yachting technology. So very, very different than the, the, the traditional RV construction that, that folks are used to. Um, as you can see in these walls, uh, everything aligns like it's supposed to. Here's a close-up of our composite wall. Um, as you can see, um, the marine grade gel coat exterior has a UV protectant to it. Um, it has a, a, a basically a resin um, and then a directional fiberglass. Um, a balsa wood core, you can see we use a, a end, end grain light balsa, um, which uses less resin to set up, so that helps keep the weight of the walls down. Um, and then it actually creates even more strength. Uh, fiberglass is funny because it's the more porous material you put between the two pieces of fiberglass, the more honeycomb effect you get, um, and the stronger the fiberglass piece becomes. Um, there are some icebreakers, uh, literally icebreak ice-breaking yachts that use this uh, technology. End grain balsa, a highly processed ultra light wood product, imparts impressive strength and stiffness to the sandwich panel, a sandwich panel being a fiberglass panel. The end grain configuration of balsa provides high resistance to crushing and is very difficult to tear apart. Uh, end grain balsa cord panels also have the ability to handle excessive dynamic loads with high resistance to fatigue. Uh, as you see here, here's directional fiberglass before it's been laid, um, and we're putting that um, over the top of the balsa. Here's the finished product. You can see the grid pattern of the balsa behind the fiberglass. Um, again, in impressive, impressive strength. Uh, light years ahead of any other pop-up or any other camper on the market. Um, now, uh, this process isn't cheap. You're paying for this. That's why hallmarks are more expensive. Um, as I take you to the next step, I'm going to show you what's behind that. Um, we still need a place to attach cabinets. Okay, Here's the inner wall of a Hallmark. It's encapsulated, so um, here's a Kusa wall. And remember, we're the only company that will offer you aluminum, Kusa, or wood. Um, our campers are very, very, very composite. But you can see that basically we, we make an inner wall that lines up with the outer wall. Um, this one's also showing an Asdale paneling uh, and a Kusa product and then also uh, the three-quarter inch uh, block foam insulation. No, no bead insulation in our campers. They're meant to perform in, in uh, extreme winter conditions. 
here's a, a hallmark going together before it has the walls on it. Okay, you can see that we glue and screw the corners together um, and insulate. And then the walls simply are attached and are pinched on. There are no glues. There's no delamination process. The wall is the structure. That's why it's extremely strong. Here's a fi uh, finished product. Very streamlined. Um, Gordon White from Truck Camper Magazine talks about recessing windows uh, in the future on truck campers. The future is here in Hallmark. We already recess our windows for wind drag. Um, little things like that it just uh, make a difference and we're already doing that. Hallmark is a leader in technology and I think uh, people very much miss what we've done uh, in this uh, construction process. Thanks for watching and please let us know if you have any questions. Thanks.